Why, hello there, you sexy beast, Vaddy were here, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Mods, Boobs and Lubes. Now, in a previous episode, we got ourselves a demonic looking castle where we ruled as an evil queen. With the Daedric Castle, I am gonna need some good uniforms for my followers and servants. Armors of Dragon Champion by Dave Jez is an amazing set of body armor that is fit for a Dragon Champion. The armor of Dragon Champion comes in six different colors, but they all have the same armor parts and design. The full set of armor pretty much covers every inch of your body with plating, chainmail, and leather. Just wearing the armor of Dragon Champion makes me feel very intimidating, very powerful, and a very evil woman. Yes, yes, yes. It is also available in only female and CPPE body. It's available in 1K and 2K textures. The helmet has dragon designs engraved on it, and it seems to have these fish fins on the side. It kind of reminds me of the fin helm from Ragnarok Online, if you guys are familiar with that game. Yes, 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 I love that game. Literally every piece of the armor is covered with lavish and beautiful engravings and designs. And it's pretty much another armor to free cam and zoom around to look at all of the individual pieces and enjoying the sight and enjoying this beautiful armor. The Dragon Champion is fully modular, which means you can choose which of the nearly 20 different pieces to wear or not to wear for each of the color. So you can choose to be fully armored up or remove pretty much everything and be much more slender. Now you guys know me, I probably prefer to be slender just because I like how the chainmail looks. Yes, 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 that's a good explanation. Probably the best chainmail that I have seen, and the chainmail also has plenty of dragon designs on it as well. Yes, it's very pretty, it's very mesmerizing to look at. I like it. The armor of Dragon Champion can be found at White Run on top of the guard house. There are six chests, one for each color. Now, there is a complete set of armor in each of the chests. Hey Eloy, since you are my newest follower, maybe we should go on a date, yeah? Alright, so let's go to the Golden Glow Dipper by Speech, and it's pretty much the most fun place to be at in Skyrim. So right here we have the Golden Glow Dipper, and it kind of reminds me of Six Flags Magic Mountain, especially these flags right here. All you gotta do is change the red and blue flags into white flags. And, oh, wait, wait a second, there's six flags. Oh, look at that, what a coincidence, Six Flags Magic Mountain. But anyways, let's get on a ride. Uh, we've all been to amusement parks like Disneyland, Disney World, or Six Flags or Knott's Berry Farm, and we all have been in those lines that last like six like two hours is yes, we stand in line for two hours and then go on a ride that lasts two or three minutes yes 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 and there's always those assholes with fast pass that gets a cut in line but anyways this is the station and it looks like uh these carts are pretty cool actually they from what i read from the mod description they used to work but they don't work anymore i don't know why but anyways uh there is something that we could do we could go on the tracks yes 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 let's go Oh yes, this is where we go on our first corner. Yes, yes, yes. Is my follower coming? Yes, she is. Yay. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be our first bend, and this is going to be prior to going up this ominous looking hill. Yes, our first climb. So this is the tense moment where we climb up the first I guess the first hill and this is when you think about oh man this is a bad idea why am I doing this again and when we near the top when we near the top we're gonna drop down okay I guess that wasn't that deep of a drop after all so it looks like we're just going around the bend and this roller coaster I assume is going to be powered fully by gravity which is pretty much how all roller coasters go oh no oh man this is the first real drop right here Oh snap, this is scary. This is scary, guys. Oh, okay. Alright, okay, I guess that's the scariest part of the roller coaster. Alright, so it looks like we're going through our uh, another bend. And I believe. Oh, yep, there's another drop right there. 
Okay, so right here, let's prepare for another trouble. Now, a good thing is that there aren't any loops. <laughs> it would be pretty hard to do, actually, I would imagine. But anyways, it, this roller coaster does kind of remind me of the Colossus at Six Flags. It's like one of the biggest wooden co uh, roller coasters in the US. Oh, look, it looks like we're back in the station. Oh, that's kind of cool. So that's kind of a very neat thing. I mean, is this something fun? Oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, wait, is... <laughs> oh my god, is that like vomit in the... Uh... <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Oh my goodness. I guess uh, a lot of people have to go throw up after riding <laughs> the Golden Glow uh, Dipper. Now, the Golden Glow Dipper is named after the Golden Glow Estate, which is across the lake. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Alright, so there's one more place we get to look at, and it's going to be the Ride Operator's Living Quarters. So let's see how well a Ride Operator's salary is. What kind of a living condition? Okay, so here we are at the Ride Operator's Living Quarters, and it is kind of small. We have a bed, and we have a drone. Oh, yes, of course, this is our domain, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's a very crap, it's very small, uh, that's what you expect a, a ride operator to be living in. Then they don't make that much money, I imagine. Okay, so let me see, is there any other place? Oh, okay, so it looks like there is a little bit more of a uh, room right here. Actually, is there even a kitchen in here? I don't think we have a kitchen, huh? We just have a little pot. I guess our kitchen is right here. But anyways, uh, let's head back over here. Hello. You're in my way. Alright, so looks like we have a couple of crafting areas. And uh, what the hell is this? Smelter? <laughs> oh, at first I thought that was like uh, one of the roller coaster mechanisms. Like the gears or something. But anyways, uh, well, okay. Oh, what's this? Open up Skyrim. Let's see where this goes, shall we? Oh, where are we? Oh, okay, that's this is kind of cool. Looks like we're on the other side of the uh, the station. Okay, that's kind of cool. So let's check out this area. And oh my goodness! Oh, I guess. <laughs> oh man, this. <laughs> oh man, it looks like the ride operator um, died of boredom. I guess he doesn't get much customers here now. I don't think these switches work. No, there's nothing here. Is there anything to read? No. Okay, so, um, yeah, I guess uh, the ride operator kind of died from boredom. Yes, yeah, lack of customers. Well then, Eloy, so let's head back home. There's another ride for you to go on, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you're ready for the ride of your life, Eloy. So we're almost home, and it looks like we're under attack by Hag Ravens. Hag Raven by Kahwan is another welcoming change to a monster of Skyrim. Hag Ravens are now much more scary and horrifying with their new detailed textures and changes. Just looking at them gives me the creeps. Now, it's not really a creature you want to meet with at night when you're alone. The skin textures now have a grainy, bumpy feel to them instead of that pasty, smooth-looking textures that you get from most vanilla Skyrim monsters. The feathers and plumage has been improved as well, and as well as the pieces of fabric and Hagraven. I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I sure hate to see Hagravens naked. <laughs> Glenmore witches has also been improved. I don't know about you guys, but why do female monsters and demons look the most hideous and nightmarish? I mean, it, 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 it's enough to be in Japanese horror movies or something. The Glenmore witch has similar changes and improvements as the regular hag witches. Now I wonder which is more hideous at this point, hag witches or Glenmore witches. The textures are available in 1K, 2K, and 4K textures again. This is very, very horrifying. Yeah, it's very scary. Ugh. We're gonna need a full party of followers to fight off these hag ravens that now inhabit the Daedra Castle. And we need one more follower to make it 10 followers. Arin, the treasure hunter custom voice follower by Winter Mayfly, is yet another Korean voice follower. Her face looks like a traditional Asian girl. Arin can be found at the Sleeping Giant Inn where we can recruit her. Hanyehaseyo to you too. Hanyehaseyo. Oh, 생기 넘치는 몸의 향기가 난다. 
좋아요. 얼른 가자. Smells like adventure. Oh man, do I smell bad? <웃음> 어디선가 보물의 냄새가 나는데요. And what's with her? I mean, she's smelling things. <웃음> Everything. 알았어요. 어린이, 눈도 깜빡 안 하고 숨도 안 쉬고 여기서 석상처럼 가만히 기다리고 있을 테니까 가버리든지 말든지. I'm pretty sure if you don't breathe, you're gonna die. <웃음> Did you just did, yeah. did you just say Gundam Sexy style? <laughs> oh man, it seems like Aaron has the most funny dialogue yeah. of, of out of all of my Korean followers. She uses twin elf daggers and a guildmaster suit, so she's gonna need some better gear when you recruit her. So, right now we have three Korean followers and one Japanese follower. Oh boy, I hope, hope there's no trouble. <laughs> For Arin, maybe she should wear the Guelda Dongard armor UNP CPPE by Deserter X, which has just gotten an update. This is a standalone version instead of it being an armor pack with two other armors, which will also get updates in the future. The armor is no longer procured by finding the chest right next to the War Maiden and White Run, but instead you procure it by going to the Scorch Hammer in Riften and finding the manual. After you do that, you then craft it under the steel category at the forge. The Guelda Dawnguard armor is well worth another look. The biggest change is the boots. The new boots extend up to the upper die and it uses a better leather texture. The toe of the boots has a metal plate on it and the heels has a bit of a design on it. It looks much more better. It's much less plain. Now I do like the new changes to the boots since the older version as I said before was a little bit more plain looking. The Guelda Dawnguard armor is available for CBPE. UNP and UNPB. It uses 2K textures and has just the right level of sexiness. Deserter X Armors is a must have for any serious Skyrim modders. Honestly, at this point, every mod user have or has used one of Deserter X's armors. Anyways, this is a good place to pause. I'm going to be a daredevil now, and I'm going to ride this roller coaster backwards and on a horse. Oh yes, I'm extreme and hardcore. Now, I hope you sexy beast enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Mods, Booze, and Lubes. And if you did, make sure to bang that like and subscribe button and follow me on social media. Links can be found in the video description below. Now, make sure to check out my other videos on my channel and help share my videos. It really helps me a lot and it keeps me make making uh, Skyrim videos. Also, what kind of games would you like me to play? Play, watch me play. I'm I'm kind of looking for other games to play other than Skyrim that might gain some interest from you Skyrim people. Well then, I'm Fadiwa. Stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy.